What's up guys, Oldrev here, and in this video we're gonna be talking about Kawai Network. All links gonna be in description, but follow them at your own risk. I'm not too familiar with that project, from the description on Twitter we have that Kawai Network is dynamic set of EVM compatible blockchains. Funding of the project is currently at pretty moderate amount of 10 million, uh, mostly by Polychain Capital. Recently we had two announcements here, first about social campaign and second is for launching Iron Age testnet. And what's interesting here, we have different incentives for miners, for builders and for users of the blockchain on the testnet. However, when I was preparing this video, I went through some informational channels and I found a lot of inaccurate information and here I just want to go through the official announcement to set things straight. But first of all a disclaimer, this campaign is not for people who cannot get either Galaxy Passport or Gitcoin Passport and also in order to be able to claim the rewards from these campaigns on the mainnet you will need to pass the KYC. Now, we don't know what this KYC is gonna be, in what form, all it stated that KYC would be required. So if you are one of these people who for some reason cannot pass any KYCs, this campaign is not for you. So first let's briefly go through the announcement of the Iron Age testnet. So it's gonna launch on September 19th and we have different incentives here for miners on the net there's gonna be eight mil quiet tokens then four mil is gonna be allocated for the builders of the various projects on chain and you can read more about it uh, in the document obviously i'm gonna link uh, both of the articles obviously for us it's more interesting what about just users uh, of this test net so quoting announcement user incentives will be released after the initial launch of miner and developer incentives. The Iron Age testnet will include a variety of incentives for users, will which be conducted and tracked through the Kwai network galaxy space. So basically, if you're not a miner, if you're not a builder, your concern should only be on galaxy at this point, because all of the social campaigns should be held there. And then we have disclaimer about KYC and potential implementation of vesting conditions to these tokens. Okay, now let's go into second announcement. This is what concerns us more. So first important thing here, if you already earned rewards from social media rewards program through Kwai dashboard, your rewards are safe, snapshot has been taken, and all rewards has been recorded and will be redeemable at one to one ratio for quiet tokens upon the completion of the KYC on mainnet launch. Next, to participate on Galaxy, you will need to have either Galaxy Passport or Gitcoin Passport with a score of at least 16. This is super low score, very easy to get it. Uh, if you need a reference, watch my guide about Gitcoin Passport. Next, what will I earn from Galaxy? When you complete a task in Galaxy, you'll earn loyalty points. Importantly, the points earned from Galaxy are different from the points earned in Kwai Dashboard. Because Kwai Dashboard is going to be redeemable at 1 to 1 ratio to Kwai tokens. However, there is no predetermined rate of conversion for Galaxy points. It's going to be largely depend, I believe, on the number of participants, basically on the total sum of points on Galaxy after the campaign is concluded. Because there's only so much allocation of mainnet Kwai tokens to distribute to participants. And then here also we have the paragraph about the KYC information on the process of claiming mainnet rewards earned through the Kwai dashboard, Galaxy or test nets will be released closer to mainnet launch. So we have no idea how that's going to be handled. Regarding the Galaxy campaign itself, if you go to uh, just Kwai space on Galaxy, you see these three mini campaigns i guess you can call them like if you go inside for example okay all of a sudden galaxy just stopped working for me but like 90 percent of quests only have one task 
like visit the page, follow on Twitter, join Discord. You just do that, you claim your points, you move on to the next task. There are no quizzes, there are no on-chain tasks here yet. You just need to have either Galaxy Passport or Gitcoin of with the score of at least 16 and you can start doing this and getting the points. And basically that's all we can do now. I do expect some on-chain tasks when this Iron Age testnet goes live. But we're gonna see about that. In the meantime, that's all I have for you now. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you found video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.